Disco! <laughs> hey guys, Sasha here, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Ice One reaction. That's why right, today I'm gonna be checking out Ice One's newest album, Oneric Diary, I believe is how you say it. Um, and yeah, what can I tell you? Like, I'm really getting into Ice One. I started like two weeks ago, uh, listened to their tell songs, uh, Violetta, Love You Rose, Fiesta. Uh, it was so good. Uh, then I checked out their comeback with uh, Secret Story of the Swan and the, the MV is so gorgeous. And the song is literally a bob. Uh, I can't stop listening to it. And yeah, that's why I decided to check out their album. Um, some of their b-sides because I'm really curious what their b-sides will sound like what surprises they will have in store for me and yeah um, and normally I don't listen to the title track again when I do album reactions however you guys recommended me to check out that performance video that they uh, posted before the MV was dropped uh, and I'm gonna react to it because normally I don't do live stages from music shows and stuff but this comes right from the channel that also uploaded the MV so I think I should be fine and yeah I really hope you guys gonna enjoy this reaction if you do don't forget to subscribe and like this video and yeah let's start let's go okay so let's start right with the first performance which is uh, welcome and secret story of the sworn in three two one go I wonder if this is some kind of intro or if it's an actual song oh they look so gorgeous. Wow. Oh. Getting getting classic wipes here. Mm. Very old school. Oh. Like from a very old musical, you know? has that kind of attitude. I love that. It looks so charming like angels. Really sounds like some grand opening of some musical. Oh, now it sounds like a fairy tale. Mmm, is that the intro? Oh, it's like that's putting you to sleep. That's the introduction to the whole dream thing. Got it. Oh, that that transition slaps. Wow. And they have so many possibilities with the choreo since they have so many members. There she is. Oh. Oh, with the elegance. Yes. I know they're singing like Swan, but am I the only one who always understands Black Swan? <laughs> like. Oh, oh my god, that move! Oh, this must be one young, right? She's the tallest, that's how I can tell. <laughs> Swan, swan, 
one. Yes. Oh, this is so good. This is also very fitting with the dream concept, this move. Like. Here we go, Shayon. Let's go, dance break. Kill it, girl. Oh, she sounds amazing as well. Wow. And the stage design, I've got to give it to them. Like, it's so beautiful. Everything about this looks so detailed and perfectly fitted. Damn. Okay, we're gonna end it here. And uh, yeah, I would say we just uh, jump right to the next video because I feel like I've already said everything about this song and about um, the choreo, both in the MV and now in this reaction. So yeah, let's just continue with the next song, which is called Pretty, which is very fitting for Eyes One uh, in 3, 2, 1. Ooh, so pretty. Yepo. <laughs> no, that. Oh, this, this sounds very bubblegum pop. Kind of late 90s pop <laughs> song. Oh, this is very cute. Oh, you're so shining. Oh. This is actually great to learn their voices a little better with this lyric videos. I love Inbi's voice. Although I've got to say, it's really hard to tell them apart in this song because they all use a very high-pitched voice. Shayon with a little deeper voice. <laughs> what a fun song. It's really something, if you're in a great mood, you can just blast this. But this is definitely not a song that I could listen to like every day or like all, all day long or for hours. <laughs> but in the right moment, this is a very fun song. Ooh, high note, nice. Sweetie. It's very catchy though. Gotta say that. I already know that this won't be my favorite song though. <laughs> Please don't take offense, but... Like I said, it's cool, it's sweet. But I couldn't listen to that. 
every day. But it was a very fun song. So the next one is called Merry Go Round in 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh! Disco! <laughs> this is exactly the wipe that I get from the, this intro. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. sticking to, to their uh, concept, to their theme of the album. It's pretty much like listening to a story, which is very cool. And this song I liked much better than the first one. Um, this is really something that that I can see myself listening to occasionally, like on, on my playlist, just grooving out to this. It's really cool. I, I love this kind of retro-esque kind of songs. Really cool. Um, yeah, wow, and that surprised me. This is really cool that they do stuff like this. Um, and our next song is called Rococo. Let's find out what it sounds like. And three, two, one, go. Sounds a lot more modern, a lot more like Secret Story of the Swan. Wow, and you can directly hear the difference to this and pretty from the pitch of their voices. Yes, I love that more mature side. I'm, I already know that. Yes. Yolo? <laughs> I have 
smart they weren't in such a long time. <laughs> Me and you, nice. A rap a on greatest rock. Yes! This is a great song as well. It's very danceable. And you see, this chorus has also sweet elements. But still, this, their voices sound more mature. Yes. Yes. Build up. Yes. That's it. Wow. Ooh. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, oh wait, oh wait, oh, I love this part. This is such a cool bridge. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, oh wait, oh wait. Yes! That was amazing. You know, that's the kind of, like, it, this chorus was also a little bit cutesy, but the rest of the song totally wasn't, and it was, it was a great contrast. And uh, that's the way I really love Eyes One. Like when they when they like sing with their voices um, that sound a little bit more mature, mature um, and this suits them so well in my opinion. Obviously, you can't do every song like this. Then I would say, okay, it's getting boring and stuff. So I like that they switch it up. I just wanted to point out that this is what I prefer uh, compared to Pretty. Um, but yeah. Uh, this was a really cool song and uh, now let's finish it off with the last song with this which is called with one so the title with one makes me kind of think that this is kind of a song that's dedicated to their fans which are called with one and this kind of sounds similar with one with one um, yeah let me know if I'm right or wrong or maybe I find out on my own in the lyrics uh, yeah let's find out in three two one go Mmm. Nice guitar. Guess this is a slower song to finish off the album, which is always nice. Oh. Wow, that voice! They have such a variety in their vocals, this is amazing. They sound nothing like the like first B-sides that we checked out. Oh. oh my god, the contrast of some of their vocals is so nice in this song. Yes! Oh, this is beautiful! Wow! Mm -hmm. 
So that was my first listen reaction to Ice One's uh, newest album, Oneric Diary. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it, it, I saw some very new sights for me for Ice One because uh, until now I've only listened to four title tracks. So this was a really welcomed uh, change and surprise in some parts. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, if I had to rank this album. Um, like the songs on the album. Um, I still think Secret Story of the Sworn is my favorite, um, which is not always the case for me with uh, title tracks, but I think this one is really is so good, so catchy, uh, that it's still my favorite. Um, and after that, I think um, my favorite B sides are definitely Rococo and Merry Go Round. Uh, I don't really have a preference between both of them after first listening, uh, but yeah, I really love those two. Um, and then after that, I really liked uh, With One, would be my number three. Then Welcome and Pretty is, as you probably could tell by my reaction, was my least favorite. Uh, which doesn't mean that it's a bad song, it just... It's it's too cutesy, it was too bubblegum pop for my kind of taste. Um, especially their voices, like when you listen to the other songs, you see how much variability they have in their vocals. And I feel like they really couldn't use that uh, at all in, in that song. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know guys, what's your preference, what's your favorite song from this album. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you all next time and auf Wiedersehen.